The Challenger division is a part of our league that allows kids with any sort of disabilities to play baseball. It's a way to bring uh, different factions of the community together. I knew nothing about what the Challenger League was. I got into it because I wanted to make sure that they were playing decent baseball and stuff like that. I stayed because I realized that it's not about the baseball at that level. There's nothing about uniform sizes. There's no one worried about playing time. It's not about which kid is on the mound. It's just pure excitement about the game. I got it! All right. I got it! I got it! Got it. I am a huge fan of baseball, and because of my uh, disabilities, I wouldn't be able to play like regular baseball. It allows me to meet new people and really show what like I can do. When you're first diagnosed with, um, with autism, I mean, I don't think we, we imagined him you know, out there and doing the things that all the other kids do. The way life has been treating them right now and being exposed to these wonderful, beautiful children and these parents, the world is his now. As a parent of a child uh, with special needs, we've come a long way. What was expressed 20 years ago is, is not acceptable. And I think that's because, as a, as a greater community, we're educating our children at younger ages. The most remarkable element of it are the number of kids that volunteer their time as buddies. It's really heartwarming to see these kids come out, give up a precious hour or two of their time. Kids these days have incredibly busy schedules, but yet they come out for two hours every week to act as a buddy. Even though it's like for like the players, the buddies benefit, I think, just as much. You like learn how to be patient with kids. You know how to like talk to them, you know how to like help them out. We have this opportunity to allow kids to be friends first, help each other in baseball, be teammates, and, and that's the reason why they keep coming back. The greatest experience is when someone steps up and pitches and they throw five balls, six balls, and then that kid hits it. You see their eyes light up. It really is the best part of coaching because it's little victories that kids don't get in other aspects of their lives that, they, that you can tell they're feeling uh, great about. Events like this allow us to show that we're part of this community and we care. It's the greatest, greatest thing in the world. Every Sunday we're reminded of what we need in our lives to make us better people. Kids with disabilities don't get to play sports. There just aren't enough opportunities for them. So when we start doing things like Challenger, we're gonna have all sorts of players that are enjoying the game and, and loving baseball. If you build something that is being run appropriately, the word spreads. We're experiencing it here in Boston. There are many other Challenger baseball programs out there. There should be one in every single community. As it spreads and grows, it's going to show everyone that our differences are less than we think. This is a kid's game, it's about the kids, it's about teamwork and friendships, and it just feels like what we should have throughout all of the divisions in Little League. One, two, three, baseball!